What's up, y'all, man? They have tapped the head of it. Shout out to them. Who's out there? Oh, look at Fuck her. I hate that shit. What's up, y'all? King Los here, bro. Back to y'all another video. Something I want to speak on, bro. Um, this is going to be a two-part. Well, it's going to be about the same shit. Pretty much QC, the little Marlo situation, and what happened right now with Migos and uh, MP. And they lawyers stealing all that money. And why more than like... Listen, bro. And you want you want to know why I think it's true? Real nigga shit? Because this, bro. Whenever nigga posts a... Whenever niggas got to put a fucking pair... Listen, bro. You have to think. You know how hard it is to type that shit, bro? You, you got to... Why would you, you think about it, bro? This is how I know niggas are lying. You typed all that. Come on, man. And I'm not saying, put it like this. I'm not saying that they not messed up over Lamarlo, because they probably is fucked up over Lamarlo down like that, bro. That was that was fucked up. So I ain't talking really on that part. I'm talking more on the part of like uh saying he ain't steal no money. Bro, if they ain't steal no money, he wouldn't have said that. They wouldn't even put no statement out, bro. He'd have went to the Migos yourself. You these niggas been signing you for five years and been like, hey man, what's up with that, bro? Y'all know we family, my nigga. You know ain't no stealing over here. You don't come out on the internet. This is why a lot of niggas don't believe shit niggas do, bro. Because niggas, like, we live in an internet society. So to show a nigga, it is. And it's a sign of respect, bro, when you go, don't go on the internet. The internet is so, that shit make it, that shit make everything. And I always say this, bro. The internet make everything so motherfucking insincere. It make it not seem real. I don't mean, like, stuff on there. I just mean, like, when somebody posts something on the internet. Like, the way he posted that. That nigga did that shit, bro. You make it That's too long of a motherfucking paragraph right there. You know what I'm saying? This is better. I'm trying to get a fucking old look, man. I'm trying to get that crazy. Oh, the clothes ain't motherfucking. I'm trying to win that nigga on the paragraph. Yeah, I like my shit, I ain't tripping. And then you got the motherfucking warfare going on. The little werewolf. Looking like the motherfucking high school werewolf and shit. What's that movie, American Werewolf in High School? I mean, that shit. It's the Native American. Uh, but anyway. It makes shit look fake. Y'all been, they been signed so long. And then, put it like this. I think, I think probably, I think probably the Migos, not to, separ separately, they probably got at least, maybe about 10, 15 M's in the bank. I know they didn't say, I know you heard, I know what's the name, said 20, 20 million bank. I don't, put it like this. And you know what's crazy? I think, in they mind, because they know QC Black, they think they probably do got a hundred million, man. These, I don't think I don't doubt it, and it's not, and this, and this is why, this is another reason why, even if we do get Black Wall Street, if the, even if that was to happen and shit, which if that happened, white folks would just, and this is why I don't recommend it happening. White people are just gonna come burn it down, and most of you niggas are not gonna fight. Like, it, like if 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 niggas had said, and if they come to try to burn our banks, we gonna fight. I'll invest, but when niggas say we gonna start banks, they're like, okay, so what about when the Klan come back and try to burn it? Because they're gonna come back. What about when the white nationalists and the white supremacists come try to burn the Black Bank, bro, and white and Black Wall Street? Are y'all gonna stop them? Or we just gonna let it burn like last time. That's why I was like, nah. Shout out to shout out to Black Youngster, bro. He just put out that shit. He went now. Now songs like that, watch that song get negative backstraps. Uh, why? You you don't know why it's gonna get negative? Cause he said cracker. As much as we say nigga in rap songs, watch that song. Y'all know what I'm talking about the song that uh, that, uh, that that Black Youngster pre preview with uh, with Lil Gotti. When you talking about he'll kill a nigga that try to touch Lil Gotti because he's seeing all the shit that's happening to these rappers, so we're kind of frustrating him. Thinking about his little pun getting taken out. Watch, bro. Watch, watch uh, Black Youngster get backlash on that song because he said cracker. Now, all the times we say nigga, and, and be honest, bro, you know, white people, to them, nigga is nigger. They, they, they don't see, you know, they, 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 they know we saying nigga, but they on purposely say nigger because it just, they just hate us so bad. It's, it's just an inferior, like I said, you, bro, white people hate us so motherfucking bad. Uh, I'm finna do a Nick Cannon video, but he told you the truth. That I'm, and I said this a long time ago. I wasn't playing with you, bro. White people are naturally evil. 
a lot of them, they're naturally evil. You don't have to antagonize them. You ain't got to make fun of them. You don't have to talk about their kids. You don't have to threaten them, bro. They just naturally, coherently evil. Don't you? Why you? Come on, bro. Let's keep it a thousand. If, nah, everybody pray to the devil. We, we, not everybody. Don't, you understand what I'm saying? All races have satanic worship in there. Like, even black people, we try to play that we clean. Don't act like we can't act like in Latin Louisiana. We ain't got a lot of voodoo witches, my nigga, to pray to Satan on the regular. And them hoes got power. You feel me? But I'm just saying, who the first motherfucker to do that? And just keep it a hundred out of everybody. For power and money and all this, even this crowd gene shit where they talk about they be eating the babies for blood. Who you think does that, bro? Who you think started that practice? You know what I'm saying? Think of that. Remember that. But anyway, just, just to get back on this other shit, because I kind of got off topic, but watch Black Youngs to get backlash for that song, but I don't know, bro. This shit just seemed a little fishy. Like they would do it. And the thing with Lil Marlo, I'm sorry I didn't speak on it that much, but do I think the hip hop was a baby? Yeah. Like if, like this is the thing, bro. This is why Atlanta's the one place where it's it's such a it's such it's it's such a you got so many blacks down there with power that you feel comfortable, but you forget it's still the hood. Regardless of all the, you know, the, the gay, the, the gay, what's the names they put on Atlanta, there is a lot, but there's still a lot of real niggas in Atlanta that'll kill you. It's a lot of killers in Atlanta. It's a lot, uh, both sides, West Atlanta, East Atlanta, South, I, I ain't never heard of South or North Atlanta, but there is. I'm pretty sure it's killers. There's killers everywhere. I don't like to say just the South and what's the name, bro, because there's killers all over. You got niggas that, it's probably in the, the North side of Atlanta, and they heat it. Well, shout out to the Migos. Man, my, Migos put on the North side of Atlanta. See what I'm talking about? My, my stupid ass. But you forget that it's still all these sides, and everybody ain't cool with you, bro. The only nigga, and it's not, this gonna be fucked up. This, this gonna sound like a shot, but it's not. I feel like Rollo could roll around Atlanta, but as far as Lil Baby, I just don't feel like, I don't know, bro. I just, Lil Baby is a great rapper and a great entertainer. But to me, he comes off like more of a thinker. And I mean this in a good light. He comes off more of a thinker where he knows that all, all violence begets, unless it's necessary. Cause I'm not with that Martin Luther King shit. Cause I know I'm finna say a Martin Luther King quote, but violence in, in, in most situations, like if you like put it like this, damn, I'm trying to get that. I'm sorry, I'm trying to shine out the light. If you have like a daughter or something, right? You own it with your daughter, okay? In that instance, bro, the only you wouldn't want to be violent because violence begets more violence. So you can get your daughter hurt if you're fighting somebody. Nigga, you just seen the video for somebody jumping a girl and then kicking their door. You know what I'm saying? So in them situations, you would try to get away violence begets violence. But if it's something where you are forced to put your hands on somebody, and it's just you defend yourself, my nigga, or pull out the iron, whatever you gotta do, defend your life, man, defend your honor. Especially if you know motherfucker trying to snatch your light and you ain't did nothing to him, he trying to snatch your light out of here and put you up for nothing. Take you away from your family, shit, defend yourself. You know, but I just feel like it ain't a good look for all these niggas to be in Atlanta, man. It's so it's so easy to get them hit, whether they be rappers, whether it be this industry. Because I told you, the industry kind of trying to kill a lot of rappers, bro. Because I told you, they want to make hip-hop all white. And that's real shit. They want to make the rappers white. They want the bitches white. They want to produce. They already got that. Think about it. I'm the, I'm the only one to be saying this, but I don't really like that shit. Like, I don't mind because music is, is universal and everybody touch it. But at the same time, and it's something right now where we, we are con we're getting pushed out of, like, our own culture and shit like that. I be worried when I see, like, NBA Youngboy with these white Jewish producers. I be worried when I be seeing, like, Lil Baby with these. Because cause, cause slowly, what that is, is they're showing that they know the sound. So they can, so, you know, and you know what they're doing? They're, they're absorbing you niggas' mannerisms. They're watching the way you niggas talk. They're watching the way you niggas dress and step. And they teaching they little motherfuckers that. They little white homies and Mexican homies that shit. They little Asian homies that shit. And that's how them niggas coming out acting like they just cut like you and they not. They just had some producer, that white or Mexican producer that was watching y'all. How y'all niggas moves like, oh, this is how real niggas act. Y'all speaking game and shit. Niggas speaking code in front of them. Telling them what it mean and shit. Oh, what that mean? Oh, this mean? I'm telling you, dog. Whether it be the you know what I'm saying, whether it be the industry, whether it be um shit, the, pol the police departments, whoever, and the, you know the industry and the police departments, even though they work hand in hand, but I don't know, bro. The shit seems fishy. This a big ass, a long ass post, Q. I mean P, for an innocent nigga. It's a long ass post, bro. That's like when a, when a bitch cheat, they'll put some. That that seemed like if Jada Pickett would have dressed, will what happened with August Senior on the internet? Trust me, she'd have touched, she'd have typed something long like that. And I know y'all niggas feel what I'm saying on that one, bro. Y'all like subscribe y'all like subscribe to the video there. Let me know what y'all think, bro.